Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing amazing. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I decided I will share with you guys 10 types of players that I have encountered in Warframe over the past five years. So the first we have the main guy. This is the guy who told you that a particular Warframe or weapon is their main weapon or their mainframe. And we'll do the same thing a few weeks after when a new item comes out. These guys have loyalty issues. They are devoted to the game, don't get me wrong. But their struggle is going to be trying to find which item they love more than the rest. So they have a good heart, but trust me, they will always have a new main whatever time of the day you catch them. The next one you have the hype man. This is the person who is always hyped, regardless of what it is, even if the item only does cosmetic damage. This is a person who doesn't care if the item is good or bad. They're just glad that we have an update. They sometimes fall in line with the main guy or girl. And if you ever see them say something is wrong with an item, you have to believe them because they rarely, rarely even say anything is wrong about an item because they're just always pumped and hyped. Next, we have the unimpressed person. Well, unlike the hype man, this is that one person who is never impressed about anything ever. This type of people will often make statements like, calm down people, they'll probably nerf it in a couple of days. Oh my God, you guys are making videos about it. All right, DE is going to nerf it to the ground. Just watch. Now, even if a weapon one shots everything, they will still be skeptical because they are afraid of nerfs. Now, the reason for that is because they've been hurt before, probably because their favorite Warframe or favorite items got nerfed. Now it's impossible to impress them. And that, and that is one of the difficult things about guys like that or girls like that. Up next, we have the overachiever. We all know that guy or girl, dearly devoted. A Warframe, a weapon set could be out 10 minutes ago and these guys already have six former on each item. I don't know how to do it. You sometimes even wonder, how do you even do it? Some of them are your favorite YouTubers. <laughs> you ask them if they ever slip. I know someone has asked me that question before. And some of them could even be your boyfriend or your girlfriend. They former everything like they work for the national treasury of all things former. These guys are impressive. Sometimes you even envy them and wonder how they have the time to do that and how fast they're moving when they're doing all these things. Next, we have the underachiever. You know, we had the overachiever, this is the underachiever. This is the person who still haven't maxed a weapon they got last May. I'm talking about 2017 May. And let us be honest, some of us have been guilty about that from time to time. These are the people who call everything a mastery fodder. And they use that as a reason for them not maxing each item. But in reality, they just don't like the way the weapon looks. So why bother? If the weapon looks ugly, why do I have to use it? They don't care if the weapon does a lot of damage, if it is the best weapon, if it is a meta weapon, they don't care. If it doesn't look good, they're not going to touch it. They're just going to get it, max it to maybe level 15, and just keep it moving. On number six, we have the fashion frame. This is that one person who doesn't care if the build is right or wrong. Their fullest powers and potential lies in fashion frame. All they do is cosmetic damage all day. They just gotta look good. These are the players who often put on the fanciest animations just so that you can look at them when they get into your missions. If you plan on playing with these guys, expect to be in a queue with these guys for at least 10 minutes because trust me, they will have to make sure that their fashion is on point. And if their weapons don't match the Warframe or the customization or the textures, they don't care if you need a particular Warframe for that mission. They will tell you, you know what? I'm using whatever I want to use because it looks cool. And I know we've all been there and we encounter people like that from time to time. Up next, we have the Maestro or the Master. This is the guy or girl who consider themselves to be the god of all builds. We all know one person like that. They will not hesitate to tell you about the builds that they are using in each mission. They will even tell you how to play the frames you have equipped. And sometimes they might even tell you that your builds are trash. Now, a lot of them play Limbo, they play Loki, they play Mag. Of course, I'm not calling them out, but a lot of them do play those three Warframes. These are the people who want to stay five more minutes when you all agree to leave at 30 minutes tops. And we all know people like that. And they are good people, don't get me wrong. 
but they are better off playing with people like themselves because the moment they start playing with everybody else, oh my God, people will hate them. Next, we have a number eight. We have the businessman or the businesswoman. These are the trade chat warriors. All they do all day is spend an entire day on the trade chat. The jump from region to region justify the best deal or the biggest whale. Some of them haven't spent a dime on Warframe, but they have millions in plat from trading alone. Those are the people you want to make your best friend. People like that only play and grind maybe twice a week and everything else is all about the trade chat because they are obsessed with becoming richer in Warframe. On number nine, we have the whale. Easily scammed and taken advantage of. A lot of them are new to the game. And once they finally realize that they have been scammed, they will become the guys and girls who want to sell you a non-tradable items or list a syndicate mod on the trade chat for 100 plats each. They do learn in time, but a whole new whale always arrives daily. So the whale is always going to evolve and they don't mind spending. Finally, we have a number 10 and we have the dropout. These are the people who only log in for daily rewards, and I'm sure a lot of us have been guilty about this, and they do this or whenever a new update comes in. After getting the items, getting the Warframe, getting the weapons, they log back out, and you might not even see them for the next two weeks or so. They mostly spend their times in school, work, family, but will come to remind you on a video that you posted a few years ago and say, man, I gotta get in and play that update. I haven't played that yet. I haven't been on this game in a long time. That could have been your best friend, but please let them know, hey, Warframe has a new update coming out. Please log back into your account so you can claim those items. Now, to be honest, I've been some of these people in different stages of my Warframe experience. Which one are you? Are you proud of it? If your style wasn't on this list, feel free to share it down below in the comment section. Who knows, you could be the guy or girl who advertises Warframe so much you wonder if DE is paying them to advertise. But anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you find it funny. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like it. I'll see you guys in the next one.